Hi guys, Stu here from Analog X. I hope you're all doing marvellously well. And today I thought I'd do a quick overview. With Genesis, uh, we're in beta, so if you haven't uh, joined the public beta yet, then please um, check one of the other videos. There's a link in there for you to come direct into the WhatsApp community. Uh, where you'll receive all the support, advice, uh, updates, bug fixes, everything that's going on currently with the Genesis Beta. And you'll also meet some amazing people as well, some very, very um, talented people, um, uh, like-minded people that um, just love producing, mixing, etc. So, um, yeah, get yourselves over to uh, our WhatsApp group. In the meantime, I thought today we'd have a quick look at um, sampling your own gear. And, um, you know, for those of you that aren't aware of the open source NAM um, uh, project, then that's been up and running now for uh, quite a while. Um, we utilize it in, a, in, 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 a, in the same way. We, we use the same modeling for, for, for Genesis so that people can um, sample their own equipment. Uh, the, the only real difference is that we're using more bespoke training files, so we're not using the standard NAM guitar based training file. We're using a file that's more designed for capturing uh, high-end studio equipment and creating em emulations off the back of that. So yeah, without further ado, let's, um, let's just show you how, how we do it. So, um, so you need a training file, so head over to the um, to the community WhatsApp group, and I'm happy to to share share this with you guys. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this training file, and what you're going to do is you're going to record this dry file. We we'll call this the dry source file. You're going to record that through your piece of analog equipment. So let's say we were um, we were sampling the Tegla today, so we'd run a direct output into the line input of the Tegla and then output from the Tegla back into your sound card and then effectively what we'd end up with is a recorded track here. So save electricity. So what we're going to do now is step two will be to align the two. So we need to make sure that these are sample aligned. So generally what I do is I go into the recorded track I would zoom in, let's just move this for a second. Uh, there will be a little bit of an offset. Generally, if, if your DAW is not kind of set up correctly to offset the exact difference between the dry recorded track and the recorded track. Um, so we're gonna just line that up by eye and then we're gonna go in and we're gonna zoom in a bit further and then we're gonna zoom in a bit further until we can't zoom in anymore. And then generally in Cubase what I can do is I can just increase the, 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 the kind of view if you like um, so that I can get a little bit nearer in to get exactly sample accurate. Um, and then I get that right on there and then I would align that to be, as you can see, there's a, a kind of plus zero there. It shows me I'm pretty much um, bang sample accurate there. So I'll reduce that back down and, and that's um, exactly accurate um, to the sample. I would then pull this back to the leading edge so that we've got the same start position. And then I would simply go to the end of the file and trim. Uh, this has already been done, obviously, because I've, I've done it previously. But let's just say this was longer. Then uh, we would um, just go in there and cut that again to the exact length. Make sure we're zoomed fully in. And uh, we could just trim that. And then we could just drag that to the end so that we're exactly the same length. So that's it, that's the file pretty much prepared. What I would say is make sure that your levels, make sure that you keep um, some headroom when you're recording back in so you're not hitting at, at zero. Um, I'm, I'm um, always sampling where I can at 192 kilohertz. That gives us the highest possible resolution on a point of capture. And then what I do is export that out to a folder and then I will go over to, um, well, actually, we, we have a link in Genesis now, so I could just show you that quickly. So if we just um, loaded Genesis in here, oops, in 
there and then there's a little camera button here where we can just click that and that will take us directly to um, the I don't know why it's open two windows up but um, take us directly to the Tone Zone 3000 website who have uh, well who are our partners um, and um, so we're so pleased to have Tone Zone 3000 um, on board with Analog X and what it means is you guys can sample your own gear free of charge uh, it's really amazing really quick so we'll go to the dry wet pair because we aren't using the um, the standard NAM version 3 input WAV file we are using our own dedicated um, file um, and then basically all you're going to do is you are going to upload your dry file so in here I would be uh, uploading my dry file and make sure you upload at 48k because that's what the model expects however if you accidentally upload it at 96 it will convert um, the signal from 96 to 48 but if you are going to do any converting I would suggest that you do it in um, in a professional um, program that will, will ensure that that process is done uh, correctly and I'm not too sure what um, process the guys are using in the background so we have our dry signal at 48k all we need to do now is upload the recorded track which is our wet stem so we'll go to our folder and we'll go into here and we'll go into our API emulation and we'll upload this one at 48k and then essentially you have um, the two pairs we'll now hit the create tone button you can uh, select what type of gear it is which is great we're on outboard um, the name is automatically taken from the uploaded file um, if you want to put a description in there you can as well um, and then in the advanced section um, we're going to select best fit because um, there's some technical reasons but if you hover over there it will explain that for you um, and it will just ensure that the quality of the model is is uh, the ultimate quality and it won't train past um, a specific point um, and that, that that could be bad for the model so um, yeah so that's the best fit and then we would set the maximum epochs I would always set it to a thousand it may not run to a thousand but we want to get the best possible model um, quality output and then the only other thing is uh, these are the, the, the kind of default settings that I'd use um, for the majority of the analog X stuff and then essentially you're ready to go we don't need to to worry about the the, the send and return calibration that's more for the uh, guitar amplifier um, kind of thing so um, you just save that and then create tone and then that's going to run um, in here and then you'll see that once you've got your finished model which won't take too long it will give you your accuracy which is here and what we're looking for I mean this is very very good for a compressor so we're looking for a kind of you know less than less certainly less than 0.1 but at 0.1 it's it's probably not going to be great quality so we're looking for uh, maybe a 0.00 rather than a, a 0.1 so um, something like that is fantastic you could click into the log it will show you the exact um, log of um, the model as it has been running and then essentially you know you've got the results so great and it's saying here that the the the, the model quality is great and uh, all analog x uh, products are always great so um, yeah we've got the best possible outcome here and then all, all, all we need to do the remaining thing to do is to download that will automatically download as a NAM file you can rename that if you want to da, 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 and uh, save that into your drive and then obviously go back to Genesis and then we can uh, we can load in that profile and then the jobs are good and and that's it guys it's as simple as that me talking through it for five minutes is probably um, a lot longer than it actually takes to do it's a, you know it takes 
three minutes to run your training file through your kit and then it takes uh, a couple of minutes to just edit it and make sure everything's set as it should be uh, and then an extra maybe five minutes to run it through the model on the uh, at the tone zone website and um, yeah that that's pretty much it so um, let me know how you go on so excited for you to to try uh, Genesis and you will not believe the flexibility of the sound that, that you're gonna get um, from Genesis so um, I hope you're all well let let's 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 uh, keep doing what we're doing and let's let's change the landscape because this this stuff really is next level um, thanks for listening thanks for watching guys please like and subscribe if you like what we're doing and where we're going thanks very much have a good day guys bye bye